सकते हो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल राइट अ पाइथन प्रोग्राम टू मल्टीप्लाई टू मैट्रिक्सेस सो इन पाइथन वी कैन इंप्लीमेंट अ मैट्रिक्सेस एज अ नेस्टेड लिस्ट व्हिच मींस लिस्ट इनसाइड अ लिस्ट वी कैन ट्रीट ईच एलिमेंट एज अ रो ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी हैव एक्स इक्वल्स टू अ लिस्ट एंड देन इनसाइड इट वी हैव थ्री लिस्ट 1 2 3 4 5 एंड 3 6 ईच वुड रिप्रेजेंट अ 3 बाय 2 मैट्रिक्स the first row can be selected as x0 second row can be selected as x1 and this can be selected as x2 and the element in the first row first column which means 1 it can be selected as x0 and then again 0 x0 will select this row and then again giving 0 will uh, select this value and if i want to select this value then i will give x2 which means this list and then 0 so x2 0 will give me 3 yeah multiplication of two matrices x and y is defined only If the number of columns in X is equal to the number of columns, number of rows in Y. So first matrices have uh, the columns of the first matrix have to be equal to the rows of uh, second matrix. For example, if X is a n by m matrix, it means n rows, m columns, and Y is a m uh, rows and l columns, then X Y is defined because uh, uh, both have uh, first matrix has m rows or m columns, and second matrix has m rows. that is why it is defined and has the dimension n by l which means rows of the first matrix and column of the second matrix will be the dimension of the resulting matrix uh, after multiplication but xy is not defined because if you perform xy your dimension uh, uh, will be your first matrix will be y and which has columns l and your second matrix will be uh, x which has uh, columns m so l and m are not same that is why l and n are not same that is why the uh, multiplication will not be possible now let's try to uh, implement the idea so uh, let's say we have a x matrix which is a uh, 3 by 4 1 2 1 2 3 3 3 by actually let's give it 3 by 3 instead okay so this is a uh, 2 3 4 and here we have a 2 3 4 4 5 6 here yeah? and then we have a y matrix and because this is a 3 uh, by 3 matrix so this matrix have to have a uh, three rows at least because this has a three columns okay so we have a let's say uh, let's make it 3 by 4 okay 3 by 4 yeah so we will have let's say 3 by 4 which is 2 3 4 and then we have 2 3 4 5 and then we have uh 6 7 8 9 yeah and our resulting matrix will be uh 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 which means uh 3 by 4 3 three rows and four columns there you go this is our result Now, if you uh, recall how we used to perform the matrix multiplication, we used to take one row and apply it on the entire column. Okay, the same row on this column, second column, third column, fourth column. So, which means we will need to make a trade over rows and columns, and also columns of the second matrix as well. So, this will be a little complicated. So, first we will trade through uh, row of x, which is i in the range of row of x means length of x. then we will iterate through for j in a range of um, um columns of y let me comment over here so that you can understand uh, rows of rows of x then we will iterate over co columns of y so which will become length of y or any row and its length which will be our columns and then uh, we will iterate through for k in a range and this will be Uh, rows of y, rows of y, okay, and this will be our length of y itself, which will be its rows. Yeah. So now our result, result i and j will be plus equal to y plus equal to because if you see, we will take this row up down this column, then plus. So how this will go? One into one plus two into two plus three into six. Okay. This will go that way. What we are doing is we are just um taking row and then we are uh, iterating over columns but we are also then iterating over rows as well and we have to sum them up so this will be uh, x 
आय के मल्टीप्लाई बाय वाय के एंड के नो व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर गिविंग वी आर जस्ट एडिंग अप दीज वैल्यू मल्टीप्लाइंग फर्स्ट रो विद द फर्स्ट कॉलम एंड देन एडिंग अप दोस वैल्यू फर्स्ट रो सेकंड कॉलम एडिंग अप दोस वैल्यू ओके सो लेट्स रन दिस एंड सी इफ दिस वर्क्स आउट लेट्स प्रिंट इट फॉर रो इन अ रिजल्ट एंड प्रिंट रो if you see we have a 3 uh, by 4 matrix 3 by 4 matrix which is actually the multiplication of x and y now uh, you can actually also implement this using list comprehension which will be a i will just copy the code and write over here let me convert it into markdown okay and we will not need any result okay uh, now what i will do is i will uh, implement the same idea using list comprehension so see we have uh, for let's say x row in x we are picking every row from x and for every row of the x what we are doing is uh, picking column from y so for y call in zip uh, this star y now what actually doing is let me make you understand so if i have y this okay if i give y hash then this will this will unpack the value set up set up can't use square expression oh yeah i need to uh, perform any action like i can you know, pass it into any function or something like that so let me print so if i print it it will just unpack those values right now if you see your y is a List of lists, so it just remove the outer list and unpack its values. Okay, unpack its values. So these are actually your columns. Okay, so we are just taking y column from this. Zip will just uh, uh, pack these values together and then we can iterate over it. Okay, and then for every value, we have uh, x row and y column. Okay, and we let me zip this value as well. Okay, so we have these two values. So let's say for a and b in this, which means we have one value from row into a, one value from column into b, and it will keep iterating. And uh, I just want to multiply a into b over here, right? And I'll just sum all these values into our new list. There you go. This is our result. So let's see if this works. Let me remove this piece of code. Now since we have list comprehension, okay? Now let's see if this works. Yeah, it does. Let me remove these two. And if you see, we have got the same result, same results, same, same. Yeah. So we have same result. Uh, that's it with this tutorial. I hope you have understood the core idea of uh, implementing a matrix multiplication in Python. If you did, please subscribe my YouTube channel, and I'll see you with a new program in next tutorial.